habanero starling. Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Yeah, I'm actually in a freezer right now. But before we get this video going, I want to show you the new Ducks t-shirt of the month. That bad boy right there. Oh yeah! That bad boy is the May Ducks t-shirt of the month. If you haven't subscribed for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, I will link it down in the description below. It's an awesome deal. You get discounted t-shirts in your mailbox the same time every month. Like I said, the May shirt is, I mean, look at it. Jordan, how's it look? It looks beautiful. Oh, uh, I'll tell you what. This is literally one of my favorites, but check, check this out. I want to show you guys something. Check this out right there. Yep, we got a cow tongue. Just want to give you guys a little sneak peek on an upcoming video. Whew, I had to put the hoodie back on. It was cold in there. Holy smokes. And I'll tell you what, we've got been getting a ton of rain. Today, the high is 48. What the heck, dude? It's cold. It's cold out. I'm going to put my hoodie on here in a minute. Yep. Let's head to the farm, shall we? Get this challenge underway. Oh, look at that. Actually hit 50 degrees out. Oh, yeah. It's really cold. It's abnormally cold for May. We're almost to the mid of May and the high in the 40s and barely hitting 50 today. This just ain't gonna do it. What the heck, Kansas? Well, I'm out here at the farm, check it out. But since it's cold today, check it out. These starlings are starting to populate back on the cattle feed really hard. The cooler weather really shows its face in these starlings. The cooler the weather gets when it, when it dramatically plummets like this and your high is actually so low, these starlings, they have a knee-jerk reaction to come right back to the dairy, to their free source of food that they don't have to go find, and that's that cattle feed. But today, uh, I guess I'll just tell you what's all going on today uh, while I'm waiting for Jordan to get here. Today we're doing a 10-shot challenge. So basically, Jordan will get 10 shells, I'll get 10 shells, we're going to split up. Jordan has a GoPro that he's going to be rocking, and I'm going to be rocking my GoPro on my head as well. Now, 10 shots unlimited time or we might put it at maybe like an hour because it shouldn't take long to go through 10 shots especially with it being cold the last video y'all seen uh it was like 80 degrees out here and there was hardly any starlings around i mean there was none just this much that i filmed right here is more than i've seen in a long time and again it's because of the cold so whoever wins this deal has to eat the other's kill so if it's starlings if it's eurasian doves if it's pigeons yep we're definitely going to be eating something at the end of this deal well we are out here and this is what we're doing we're both using the same shells today just to make it extremely fair we're going to be using these high birds again so you got your 10 there I got 10. all right he got his 10 high birds I got my 10 high birds and and just to show that it's really it's going to be a really close battle here is Jordan has his Super Black Eagle 2 with the same extension tube that I have and we're both rocking the same identical choke. Yep. I mean honestly, if you're a Franky guy, if you're a Vanilla guy, that's the only difference other than Oh, and the hoodies are and, and the, the hats. hats. Look at that. Look at the look at the Jeez. dang look at the get up. This is starting to look ridiculous. <laughs> We're basically looking like twins out here gun and all. But uh he's gonna strap up the GoPro on the head. I'm gonna do the same. Now we're gonna put an hour time limit on this. We can split up, we can walk together, whatever happens, happens. Basically, whoever shoots the most birds or animals that are legal, whoever shoots the most, or maybe the most unique pile. I don't know. We're gonna see how this thing works out and whoever loses is gonna be eating the other's keel. I gotta win. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Mm -hmm. I think, I know, I think <laughs> you have some tricks up your sleeve, uh-huh. Oh, nah. Yeah. All right, you ready? Daddy yeah, wants us to start with the pigeons in the back, so we should probably make sure that they're not right. in that barn. And he then wants uh, from, the, He wants the pigeons out of the he barn. He does want the pigeons All right, let, they're pooping on the tractor. Let's go so. do that first. We'll go back there and see what we do, and then we can split up from there or figure out what happens. That'll work. Decide and see who gets the. Oh, there the draw. goes the starling. Starlings. Ooh. Whoop. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. There went one pigeon. You weren't okay. lying. They're fast coming out of here. Come on. Oh, there was only one. Oh. Oh. Oh, I dusted one. 
One down, down one down. One. <laughs> don't, oh. <laughs> don't tempt me. That's three shells. That's four shells for you. Was it four? That's four. Oh, I gotta find my pigeon. God. I can't believe I missed. I was way up. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for that one to go on. Well, well, we both. It took forever for both of us to shoot. Yeah. What? Well, God. That, yeah. <laughs> that was hard. Now, you guys that watch our farm videos out here shooting birds and such, man, I'm telling you, we've done a number on the farm. The farmer has wanted us to get rid of these starlings, and I'll tell you what, that's what we've been doing, and we've been real successful at it. So, shooting a pigeon out here is pretty rare. I just got to find it now. Man, look what you oh, did. Oh, God, look at that. Holy high bird. Oh, man, I smoked. That's something from the pigeon. That's part of his tail. Oh, man, I really did a number on him. <laughs> look, there's blood everywhere. Look at this. I demolished him. Oh. Man, I hope you don't win because I don't want to eat this for <laughs> That pigeon is going to be nasty. Oh, you find him? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Holy that, high bird. That is what high bird federal shells do at, what was that, 15, 20 yards? Yeah, 20. Full choke, 20. I don't know if we can eat that. Uh, oh, no, his breast might be the there breast, a little bit. The, it's, the breast is almost actually in perfect shape. <laughs> Just this little corner here, but you took everything else off oh of it. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Well, I'm on the board with old... Half with, a pigeon. It's yeah, totally there's, half there's a pigeon. literally half a pigeon there. Oh, this, by the way, this video is definitely getting demonetized yeah. after showing this. If you guys want to help support the channel with more videos, you got to go pick up a hoodie or a hat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I completely made a mistake, guys. I can, <coughs> Dude, that pigeon came out. I went into instinct reaction. I was just kill like, him! I was like, kill everything. I started, all I know is I'm just used to having a two. I started squeezing off. I went through three or four rounds. So I think at most I got like a six left. I think you got six left. According, oh. to, according to my Deadpool kill <laughs> counter in my head. <laughs> well, we're splitting up here. I'm going to go around this way, see what I can get into. Uh, wow, wow, wow. That high bird shell, I'm telling you guys, is no joke. Woof! Come on, six shells left. I gotta get one or, one or two more birds on the ground. Uh-oh, there's his shot. He's gonna start scaring him out this way, I bet. Well, nothing came my way. Good plan, Bob. Good plan. There's the boomer going off. There's some starlings coming out of the shed here. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Gersh darn it. That's what I was waiting for is one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's dead. He has to be dead. Go down. Oh, I'm going to run out of shells. I barely touched him. He's still flying. He did not go down. Oh, no. I'm getting close on shells here, fellas and gals. Here we are at another shed. Let's see if there's any in here that I can bust out. Hey! Nope. Usually them starlings, they'll be up in the rafters. You come to a new shed and you'll spill out and you can shoot them. Just like what happened on the last scene where I missed them. Great shooting, Bob. Just epic shooting. If you guys are enjoying this video, give your boy a big old thumbs up. Starling. Oh, missed him. Ah! <laughs> I think I only have three shots left, guys. This ain't good. Put in the last two shells here. I think I might have three in there total. All right, let's call Jordan. Yep. What up? I got like three or four shots left. Three or four shots. I think I have three left. Three? Yeah, I believe I have three shots left. Did have you hit anything else? I've got a 
like nothing. You shot over oh, one and one, then I, I can't believe, dude. I had two easy shots on Starlings and missed them both. I had two easy shots, but I had turned my camera off to make the clip shorter. Uh huh. And yeah, guess when they flew by. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Bye. Bye. So you heard it there. Sorry, I had to had to put y'all on the GoPro here. Um, you heard it there. He has one starling down and about three or four shells left. So we're we're actually neck and neck. I mean neck and neck. I have a pigeon, half of a pigeon left, and he's got one starling down, three shells. Here we go. I got two starlings on the ground in front of me right here across this creek. I'm gonna try to uh, jump shoot them. Oh, I missed them. How did I miss that bird? Are you serious? Oh, Bobby. That was the easiest shot on earth, dude. Well, two shots left. That's all. I'm going to go back around the side of the shed, see if we can spook some starlings out. If, they, if we can spook them out, they're going to they're gonna head that way. <clears throat> Anything going to fly out? No. No. Nothing in there. There's a starling. Oh, it's a poke. Missed him. Ha! Ah, I thought forever should I take that shot. One shell left. And that's all she wrote, fellas. I've been I've been taking too long of shots. Oh, oh, I think he might have got one. I'm sneaking over here. Jordan's right over there. I've just been seeing him land in this in this shed right here a bunch. Get up on here. There's that roof that we were talking about getting on. Actually, why don't we do that? I'm just going to climb on the roof here. That's what Jordan did last time. Hopefully I don't fall. I hope this miss one go right over the top of me. He is spraying and praying over here. Here we go. Up on the roof of the shed here. Look, there's Jordan. <laughs> he, he doesn't know I'm up here. <laughs> Starling, too. There he is. Oh, darn it. I'm trying to scare Starlings out of the shed. Oh, two Starlings were coming around the corner and they put on the brakes right there. Nice, got him. Go down. He's dead. Last shot. Made it happen, baby. We got a starling on the ground. I am done. Look. She's empty. Not all the way dead, probably. Yep, he's dead. There we go. Two birds, ten shells. Definitely not the best shooting of my life. I'm pretty sure Jordan's in about the same boat. I'm sure he has two or three birds on the ground. Two or three. This is going to be really close. Oh. Just chilling in the truck here. Man, I'm telling you what, the farm just, there's more starlings here than there was the last time just because it's a cooler day. But I'm telling you what, me and Jordan have just given this old cattle farm a workover. Let me tell you what. Uh-oh, looks like he's done. <laughs> I can't get the one out of the pond. What'd you end up with? Four. Holy smokes, four? Are if you, you count serious? the one in the water. Oh, really? Man. Hold on. Wow. You really beat. Oh, you got you a pretty I got pigeon. Me a pigeon. Was it a long shot? Long shot? Eh, I mean, it was about 30 maybe. Really? Didn't tear him up too bad, I see. Well, since it's getting demonetized oh. anyway. Oh, yeah. It messed up his gullet a little it, bit, huh? It hit him in the face. <laughs> Four total, I you were able to get three, three. But there's one still back there. I just don't feel like swimming today, because it's cold. Yeah, it, it, the shooting wasn't on par today. I ended up with two. Two? A starling and the, well, half pigeon. And half pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out. Walked all over this farm, couldn't find starlings. And look at that, even with the boomer going off in the background, they're always sitting where you can't shoot them. <sighs> but Jordan won. 
gosh darn it. <laughs> but Jordan did a heck of a job. I have to hand it to him. Uh, we're going to actually head back to uh, Jordan's shop and cook these bad boys up. God, jo Jordan, dude, I need your ride. <laughs> Check Isn't she sexy? Yeah, dude, look at that logo. If you guys have been uh, wanting to pick up a Ducks logo, I'm pretty sure we just stocked up on all of the decals on the website. So I will link them down below as well. Honestly, dude, I need a little scouting ride just like that. 30? No, wait, sorry. 42 miles to the gallon. 42 miles to the gallon. Dude, seriously? Like, I can go back and forth to Ugh. work all week on, like, my 8-gallon tank. That's awesome. I, I, I filled up for 20 bucks the other day. <laughs> I really want it. <laughs> like, literally, I, I would buy one of those $800. Today. 800 bucks. see? He's pre-clean. <laughs> yeah, he's pre-clean. The high bird cleaned it for us That's, <laughs> it helped us out but what do we got we got two pigeons and three starlings not bad for 20 shells uh. yeah that's a lie <laughs> we both shot horrible i shot real bad we switched up the rules a little bit okay i was supposed to eat everything but jordan was like dude i got a couple recipes man i really want to try to put something good together on these starlings so Jordan actually has an idea to make these starlings edible because the last cook and clean I did. Rinse well. Normally I like to put about half and half seasoning and sugar on my wild game for these things. So what you got? You got brown sugar brown and then sugar. you got your homemade seasoning, yep. right? I actually mix the mesquite seasoning and the jerk seasoning, so it's, it's sort of a mix of both. Oh, gotcha. All right. And I like to give them a good coating. He's just a little guy. Yeah, those starling breasts are tiny. Look at that. Pigeon, starling. Another reason not to eat these. These are worth more of your time. Yeah, the pigeons, honestly, if you guys have never ate pigeon, it's so good. Like I said earlier, it's better than dove. And dove, you, you, you really can't beat with a stick. Oh, got some homemade bacon. Where we're at here, this, this is Jordan's shop, and he is a butcher. If you didn't know, now you know. And he has all kinds of goodies laying around, just like this, just like this. Look, he's about to kill me here. What's that? That's a habanero. One of us about to die. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me here? It's a little bit much bacon, but... But... But it's starling good it, grief. <laughs> yeah, way faster than me. Anytime we, we cook wild game for a video or anything, Jordan's like, I got it. Just, just grab your camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Layering the cream cheese in the jalapeno? Oh my goodness. Woo. Look, he's got a pigeon in there, a pigeon in there, a pigeon in there, a pigeon in there. These are all starling bacon wrapped. And then right here, he's got two starlings bacon wrapped with a habanero in them. Woo, your boy might be on the toilet for days. Well, here we are. We got the grill hot. Hot and you got a handful of goodness. Oh my goodness! Should have grabbed a plate or something, but you know. Oh yes. I like to start them with the meat down. The meat down. Which on those guys, everything's meat down. Right. But I, oh, I see what you're saying. Because otherwise, down. otherwise the cream cheese. If oh. you start them this way, it gets hot, and then you go this way, and the cream cheese falls out. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh yeah, we're looking good. What are your suggestions to the viewers watching? How do you cook your pigeon and your bird? Just, your, you know, your small breast game. All right. When I do them this way, I like to try and do them a little bit lower and slower because there's fire involved. Holy cow. Um, so the theory is, like, there's bacon around them, so you have less heat contact directly onto your meat. So the lower you can do it, it allows that heat to penetrate, and you actually cook the meat underneath it. A lot of times you get your bacon, there's grease in it, starts mm -hmm. a little bit of fire, it looks done, uh -huh. but the inside is still raw or way uh, too rare. So that has happened to me lower, so many times. Yep. A little bit slower. So. Exactly what you're saying has happened to me so many times. I'm telling you, so many times I've done bacon wrapped stuff 
And every time I do it, I cook the bacon to where it's done, and yeah, the inside is not done. Well, we are done here. Check them out. Oh my goodness. Woo! I was supposed to be home for dinner like 30 minutes ago. I had to tell the wife, hey, honey. Sorry, Beth. <laughs> You're blamed. You're at blame. Uh-oh. Uh which one you eating first? I really want to start with pigeon because I know it's good, but I kind of <laughs> want to finish with that. <laughs> that way I know it's good. I don't want to drive home with this like Mwah! in my yeah. mouth. Yeah. So I'll probably start with one of these uh, bacon wrap only no pepper ones. Alright. Then go to a habanero one and then eat a pigeon and make you eat the rest of them. No, oh, geez, yeah. Something like that. I guess I did. I guess, <laughs> I, guess I did lose. I'm probably going to have to clean this bad boy up. Regular? Mm -hmm. Regular starling? Bacon wrap starling? Mm -hmm. What are you thinking so far? that I don't hate it. Really? Which surprises me. I really thought I'd be kind of dry heaving by now. I know when I cooked Starling it wasn't the best. That's way better than Starling with flour and Frank's Red Hot. Yeah. Well. I hate it so much I might actually eat another that's one. That's really good. You are way better of a cook than I am, let me tell you what. Okay, okay. I remember this. I've done this before. Anytime you bacon wrap anything, now I can taste that seasoning. And that <clears throat> seasoning is... Lots of seasoning. Oh my, that seasoning is so good. But, guys, if you're scared of gamey, gamey taste, bacon wrap it. You can eat anything if it's bacon wrapped. Seasoning and brown sugar with a little bit of oh, sweet yeah. with like a mesquite seasoning. It's worth it. Yeah. Oh, there's the starling habanero bite. You are brave. Or stupid. You might just be dumb, yeah. <laughs> <I might. laughs> That's going to be so hot. I know I'm going to have to eat one next, too. That's not cool. Not hot yet. It'll probably take like 15 seconds and just, I mean, ramrod you. It's starting to get there. <laughs> habanero starling. That wasn't bad. Oh, I was not tell it's so But hard. it's... It's... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my... Woo! Hello! That's gonna get really hot. I've never ate that big of a habanero in my life. <coughs> I think my head That might... will wake you up. <laughs> I think my head might explode. How many, how many of you out there have had to do that when something's so hot? Now we got the full jalapeno and pigeon. Oh, oh going yeah. for going for it. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. Oh, it's so juicy. It's so juicy. It's hot, too. Is it still pretty hot? Check that bad boy out. That's the bacon-wrapped jalapeno pigeon with all that yummy cream cheese inside. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad we did this. Uh, it sucks I lost, but it really don't matter. I, was like, I don't feel like anybody it, lost this. Oh, uh, it's so good. But guys, sorry that my mouth's full and a little hot because of the jalapeno. I want to thank you guys for being here. Today was just a fun video. Me and Jordan's kind of had this uh, idea. It's actually Jordan's idea. He's like, dude, let's go to the farm. Let's just have a little challenge. Ten shots. See who wins. Let's just go back and cook everything. And if it's gross, Bobby, you have to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but turns out, he's way better of a cook than I am. My starlings absolutely sucked. His were gold. I mean... There, there's one left and two pigeon left. Yeah. I mean, and I'm thinking about saving them for breakfast. Yeah. So, thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you have. If you guys have any video suggestions whatsoever, drop them down in the comment section below. We always love new video ideas. But thank you guys for being here. We will see you on the next one. Mm. Peace.